This is Witchbase News for Friday the 7th of April 2023 I'm Commander Burr. An Elite Dangerous News this week EDDB is closing its doors Buckyball Racing kicks off a new season, we have a fantastic guide to the Guardian sites and more. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content and if you'd like to help directly support our work you can join our Patreon ...links to that and everything else are below. If you were looking for the Frontier livestream this week and wondering why it hadn't yet passed across your face ...that's because it was cancelled this week due to some unexpected staff availability issues. Your next regular dose of Frontier CMs, community news and stellar screenshots with a chance of developers is now scheduled for April the 20th ...that's a week on Thursday as I speak these words. The console profile copy system went live again at the start of this week after it was paused just before Christmas last year. As we reported last week the system does not currently have a planned closing point. It's completely free to use, has no effect on your console commander whatsoever leaving the version intact and unsullied and once your copied commander arrives on the live PC version of the game it comes bundled with a free copy of the base version of Elite Dangerous to use. Even if you have no current plans to use the copied version there's no reason not to do it because you never know what's around the corner. There was a slight hiccup for some commanders earlier this week when the copy process didn't quite work as advertised. Frontier however quickly jumped on the issue and are reassuring now that everything is working as expected. As I've said many many times before on this channel you don't necessarily need to own a powerful PC or indeed a PC at all to play Elite Dangerous Odyssey. We regularly share the same space with a friend playing Elite Dangerous Odyssey on their Xbox via the GeForce Now game streaming service. We previously made a video about this very subject which you'll find linked on screen now. To get you started you'll find the link to Frontiers copy portal in the description below this video. EDDB.io the incredibly useful second screen utility website for many commanders including this one announced this week that it would be closing its doors after more than 8 years of faithful service to the community. If you're roaming the galaxy looking for a commodity, faction state, trade route or starport that sells a particular flavour of module then EDDB was a staple. The developer of the site, Themrock, stated in the announcement that upkeep on the website was unfortunately no longer possible as the focus of their own life had moved on to other things admitting that they themselves had not even played Elite Dangerous in many years. Whilst the web domain is up for sale to serious offers the websites source code is not up for grabs and so quite soon it seems EDDB.io in its current form will close its doors for the last time. If you're looking for a replacement service however it's worth noting that the same data harvested by EDDB is however put to good use on the website inara.cz which covers essentially the same functionality whilst also adding a whole bunch more such as squadrons, commander logs or the ability to search for the nearest material trader, tech broker or carrier selling Odyssey engineering materials that you might need. In happier, coincidental and unrelated news the website Elite Dangerous Utilities created by Commander Capitan Ace Rimmer resurfaced this week after an extended absence from the Elite Dangerous second screen scene. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never used the website which was formerly known more colloquially as Hosbase then it essentially does exactly what it says on the tin hosting a bunch of useful tools to help you find things like the nearest bounty hunting sites, pristine mining spots or things like guardian ruins or tourist beacons all listed in ascending distance order from any system you name. It's a very useful addition to your elite dangerous Swiss army knife of websites alongside sites like Inara, EDSM, Spanch or ED Astrometrics all of which are listed below. 
Commander Radium Io of the Titan Contractors Squadron shared a fantastically useful and easy to understand infographic this week that details some of the most common Guardian technology unlocks alongside where and how to go about unlocking them. Whilst the infographic focuses on the Guardian Frameshift Drive Booster, the Module Reinforcement Package, Gauss Cannon and XG7 Trident Fighter it's presented in such a clear and concise pictorial format and so chock full of tips and details that it will make unlocking any Guardian modules much easier. Not just those presented specifically in the guide. Suffice to say we've linked to Radium IO's infographics below. Be sure to add them to your bookmarks. After the runaway success of last years Magic 8 Ball Championship, Commander Brewski of the Buckyball Racing Club announced this week that the Galaxy's unhinged Premier Speed Appreciation Society is doing it again by rerunning 8 of the community's favourite events from the over 80 previous events that they have available to choose from in a new championship race called the Swift 16. Each race will be championed and hosted by a community figurehead and will run monthly starting from April and running all the way through to the final event in November. The community figureheads championing each event are Sulu aka Fish172, Alec Turner, Segur, Reiko, Psykit, Kalem and Cola, Ashnak and Osric. As is the case with all buckyball events there are various classes you can choose to compete in from an anything goes engineered to the absolute conquers class to a regulation off the shelf cobra build. There really is something for all tastes. The first event the Empire Hustle starts tomorrow the 8th of April and runs for one week. You'll find everything you need linked from the official Elite Dangerous Community event calendar and you'll find that linked in the description below this video. As I mentioned at the top the Buckyball Racing Club has hosted in excess of 80 events across its history and counting and that's one hell of a legacy for one of Elite's longest established and most venerable band of complete nutjobs. Our best wishes and the very best of luck for what sounds like a fantastic season ahead to Sulu, Ashnak, Alice Turnip, Osric and the others. Go Buckyball. Elite Dangerous can sometimes leave us all feeling somewhat in the doldrums between updates. If you're one such commander or you've perhaps been suffering with a degree of war fatigue fighting the Thargoids then this period as we approach update 15 could be a good time to unlock some Guardian gear, visit some of the tourist spots and unusual systems highlighted by the ED Utilities website or take on the challenge of a buckyball race. Let us know in the comments below what you're up to in the game right now in the run up to update 15. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.